Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion and in this tutorial I want to show you how to correctly migrate settings from older trap code particular projects to new versions. I released many After Effects templates over the years using trap code particular or trap code form and yeah at some point they changed the plugins that much that you have to migrate the settings and this sometimes causes problems so I want to explain you quickly how you can do that and today we are going to look at this project that's the Particle Splash logo reveal one of my most popular plugins or templates that uses the Trapwood particular plugin let's take a quick look just so you know what I'm talking about and I already updated this plugin a few times and I also updated it to the latest version of Trap Code Particular and After Effects. I will show you in a moment what this is right now at the moment of recording this video tutorial. But anyway, I just want to show you the process how you can migrate settings so that you can do it on your own uh, if you download a project file that was created with old versions of Trap Code Particular. So let's jump right into the project file. So if you download this from VideoHive, you will see all of these projects in here. So you see we have different versions and it was actually created in 2015. So this is a really old version here using After Effects CS5 and Trap Code Particular version 3 at that time. So I would not recommend that you use these old versions only if you are still on these old systems. So only if you still work with CS5 and the old particular version. If you want to migrate to the current version, then always choose the latest or the, the most up-to-date version that you can find. And in here you can see that I already updated to After Effects CC 2023 and Trap Code Particular version 2023. So this is the updated version and this is using the current versions of After Effects and Particular. But if you have something that is, for example, from last year or from 2021, you know, so depending which version was originally used to create this project, I will show you two examples how you can migrate the settings of Trap Code Particular without getting crazy. So let's go to After Effects and let's actually open up one of these projects. So I will just close this one here. We will start with the easy thing or with the not so complicated thing. And that is migrating this version here and let's just open this up and you will see when I open up this project, Trap Code Particular doesn't even require to migrate the settings. So let's just click here. This means that After Effects will convert the project from version 2022. So this was created with After Effects CC 2022. And I will just update this. And here it says, yeah, there is some, some font that is missing, but that's not that important in this case. And you see, Trap code particular does not ask to migrate the settings. So there is not this typical orange migrate button that you would expect, but the particles are not visible. So if you scroll through this now, through this project, you see over here there are some particles. What happened, and I'm not really sure at what point in time this happened, but somehow the integration of the 3D space in After Effects changed. So the particles are still in your project, but they are not positioned correctly anymore. And now I want to show you how you can correct this. So let's first of all, just turn off these reflection particles that we work only with one particle layer. In this case, we have two. And on both of these, we have a few systems. So you want to deal with the primary system and you want to go to the primary system, select that, and then we will create a null here. So just click Create Null. That's in the Emitter tab here, Create Null. And this will create a null for us. And now this system and all the systems are actually linked to this null. Now let's go into the null and drill down the position, open up the position settings. Now you have to shift the position of this null and you have to know how this is done. So this depends on the size of your project, on the resolution of your composition. And if you go to this composition settings and take a look here, you see we are in a standard full HD composition. If your composition has another size, then you have to calculate the values that I will use now to match your composition size. First of all, we want to zero out the Y position. So that's important. Just zero out the Y position. In this case, the null moves upwards. Now we want to take half of our width resolution and 
set it to minus. In this case, it's 1920 divided by 2 is 960, and I set this to minus 960. And you will see some particles should appear. Now, here they are suddenly, they appeared. They just were shifted outside here. So let me quickly demonstrate this, that you understand really what's going on here. I can go out here of the active, from the active camera to a custom view. And if I do that, you see over here, these particles are still in my project, but they are just shifted. You know, they are over here, they are offset, they are not where they belong. And by doing what I just did, let's do that again, just take half of the width of the resolution and set it to minus then these will be shifted to the correct X position again. Now we have to correct the Z position. And here you just take half of the height and you don't have to set this to minus, you have to set this to positive value. So in this case it's 540 because 540 is 1080 divided by 2. And then you got it. You see, now everything works as expected. We didn't have to do any migration in this case, we just had to reposition this. And we can do the same here now. So if you have a, another system in here, you do not even have to type in these things. You just go to your other system. Let's activate this for now. Then go to our show systems and use the primary system. Open up the emitter settings. And now you can just link this to the null that you already created. So just link it and this will jump into place and everything is fine. Then you can save your project, a copy of this project that you do not lose the original one, but you see now the template works again. So this is the first example of correcting a Trapcode particular project. Now let's take a look at the a little bit more complicated thing. So let's go to open a project. And this time, I don't want to save this now. This time I will use a bit of an older version. So I will use this one here that was created with CC 2021 and with version 5 of Trap Code Particular. So let's just select this one and open it up. And you will see the difference here is that Particular says we need to migrate the settings. So let's open this up or let's click OK. Let's again just update this project. And now we have this orange button here. Now you have to go to each layer in your project where you have Particular and update this. So you see, this looks very strange now. So let's go to the particles first of all. I will turn off the reflections again and just leave the particles activated here and I click on Migrate Settings. Migrate Settings and sometimes this crashes. You see now it's stalling and it's loading and you have to be a, a little bit yeah, patient here. Then it says it has an error but we have, don't have to care about this. Just be patient, and now it says that all the settings were successfully migrated. The problem is, it thinks that it migrated all the settings successfully, but in my experience, uh, sometimes it did not. So now let's wait again until this effect controls panel layout here updates, because now we will get this standard layout, as you can see here. Now we can see the settings as we are used to. Now let's go to show systems and let's go to the primary system here. So first of all, somehow the primary system is now visible. It should not be visible in this case, but this is very specific for this project. So I will turn it off because I know that it should not be visible. What I have to do now is I have to check my emitters because during this process of migrating, sometimes the emitters get messed up. And if I take a look here, this one is okay. I know that this one should be set to layer. And that's a bit of a problem if you're not familiar with the project that you are migrating. So in this case, you just have to contact the guy who made it and ask uh, whether he can help you out. In my case, I know <laughs> what these settings should be because I created this project. But anyway, I want to show you how you can do it. So in this case, you see the emitter was changed to point. But I know that I do not need a point emitter on the system number two. What I need on system number two is emit from parent system. So we have to change that and we have to make sure the parent system is the primary system in this case. Then I will go to the next system and check the emitter. And you see here it's also changed to point, which is not right because we need layer. All of these are emitting from this logo. So depending on what you have, on, on what your project is doing, 
you can think a little bit logic and can think, okay, where are my par particles coming from? Are they emitted from a special layer? And then you can figure it out maybe on your own what layer or what emitter type you need. Again, system number four, same problem. We need layer here. And then system number five, also the same problem. It's set to point, but we need layer. So now you see, I change all these things and nothing updates. And now when it updates, they're suddenly gone. And now we have exactly the same problem than we had before. Now they are somewhere in our space. And yeah, I really don't know why this is. I just know how to fix it. And this is again the, the same thing that you want to do here. So you go to the primary system and can do it here again. Go to the emitter, create a null. And now we can update this. We can make this a little bit faster now. So let's take this here position, set it to minus half of the width, zero on Y and 540 on set. And this should place them in the right spot. So this is how you can migrate the settings, especially for this project. But I hope that this also helps you when you run into problems with other projects and that you can figure it out on your own. Of course, we would have to do the same now for the reflection particles. Uh, I want to mention one thing. I know that there is a plugin available and let me show you where I can find this quickly. Yeah, right here. There's a plugin available that allows you to migrate multiple instances of particular at once. And you can find it here on the Maxon support website. And I will link it in the video description that you can check it out. And this is a script that you can run on your project. So if you have a lot of different layers where trap code particular is used and you do not want to go through each of these layers and do this migration by hand, you can use this one here to migrate multiple instances in your project and you can follow this instruction. I have to admit, I did not try this out because in my projects, trap code particular is yeah, usually only on two, three layers, not that many. Okay, so this is it. I hope that this was somehow helpful and that you can now migrate your trap code particular projects and can still use it on new versions of After Effects and of course on the latest version of trap code particular. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.